Hey, what's up guys? Alex here with a new video. And today we're taking a look at the new Olo Clip Active Lens Set. So this just came out for the iPhone 7. And I wanted to pick it up because I'm doing a trip with the wifey and we want to vlog and start kind of getting into that. And of course, me being a techie, I want to use my 5D Mark IV, which I'm filming with right now, or a GoPro, or finding technology, obviously, to, to make it look cool and have amazing quality. But then the wife said, hey, why don't we try using our iPhone? So I decided, hey, maybe this is a good solution. I want to get the ultra wide lens to see how it works with a front facing camera, rear facing camera, and see if we can actually turn our iPhone 7 into a vlogging camera. Also, you should be able to capture more with the wide lens. So a little clip offers two different clips or different lens sets. You got the core lens set and then the active lens set. So this retails for $119.99. Supposed to be shipping in a few days from their actual website, but Best Buy had some in stock. So as you can see here, it's for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, the active lens set, which comes with an ultra wide lens and a telephoto lens. And when you open up the, the packaging, you kind of get a brief description of the product itself, right? So it tells you ultra wide telephoto. It has this new clip that you can actually use as a stand and it's actually screen protector friendly for the first time. So it tells you right back here, if I can get the camera to focus up to 0.5 millimeters, which has never been the case. Now, an interesting part of this lens set is gonna be how it works with the iPhone. So one thing that they've already said is it won't work with the telephoto lens, it'll only work with the wide angle lens. And of course, when you're using an Olo clip, you won't be able to use an actual case unless it's one of theirs, which isn't out yet for the iPhone 7, and you won't be able to use a flash either because it'll block that. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what comes in here. And at the end of this video, guys, I'll do a, uh, a clip with the iPhone with the lens on and the lens off so we can kind of see a difference. So, images speak louder. Let's go ahead and nothing else in the box. Here we have fairly nice packaging. Let's see, does it push out? Oh, nice. So, it's a sleeve that kind of holds everything together comes off. Let's go ahead and set this down and see what we have. So we have the active lens quick start guide. Kind of gives you the everything that's included. I'm going to have to read this because I'm not sure how it's going to work with this new iPhone. There we go. Kind of again, just all that fun stuff. Welcome to the family, a support card, a looks like a lens cleaning cloth or a cleaning cloth as a whole with a flower on it. And uh, I can tell you guys, I've had different older clips before and they've definitely stepped up the presentation here as far as packaging. Um, so I'm kind of excited to see how it's gonna work. So here we have one lens. So it's interesting how now it's split into two. So traditionally, it's just, oh, took the cap off. Traditionally, it's just, here's the ultra wide. It's just a clip with the lenses and it looks like they've changed that for this version. So I'm assuming this is for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. Go ahead. Get the clip out. So as you can see, fairly large clip, and it looks like the lens is attached there, and right here, 7 Plus. So I won't even bother taking this one out because I have a 7 Plus. Don't know what these are. I'll look at the Quick Start Guide in a second. And you got a clip to attach this to a bag or a carrying case, whatever you might have to carry your lenses around. So let me go ahead and read the Quick Start Guide really quick, guys. Let me see how these attach, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so very interesting. So this is very different from previous systems and uh, kind of just got the hang of things. So they have this new clip system. So for example, if you're only gonna be using one lens, they recommend you use one of these attachments in here to go ahead and have a secure fit. So let me go ahead and show you how these attach and how they work. So as you can see, all of these are gonna have a little push button here. So I'm gonna go ahead and push this. And these clips are not easy to take off without kind of being rough with it. I just cut my nails too, so maybe that's it right here. But as you can see, there is these little two, hey, camera's not gonna focus here. There is these two holes here 
And you just pretty much fit this piece in here and you align the, the nubs of the holes to secure a fit. Same thing with the lenses. As you can see here, here's the piece, here's the push clip. So what you would do is you would put in one end, align it to the hole with a camera, push in and then just kind of fit it in there and it is fitted as you can see. Now, take them off, same thing. It's easier to do with the lenses because there's an actual push button right here. So you just push in there and it comes right off. But as a whole, quality feels really good. These lenses feel nice and heavy. And one thing I did not notice was how much distortion was gonna be on this wide angle lens. So to attach it, as you can see, it kind of just fits in like so, and it is on the phone. Now let me go ahead and show you guys what the wide angle looks like. So you can see it is crazy wide angle. If I take off the lens, and I'm actually gonna do a video with the iPhone right now after this after this unboxing, so you can kind of see the difference, right? So as you can see here with the wide angle clip and taking it off, it doesn't even get the whole IMAX. So extreme wide angle, almost fisheye, but pretty cool. So let me go ahead guys, and I'm gonna switch to the iPhone camera. I'm gonna show you a before and after with the wide angle clip and even the telephoto, and I'll wrap up this unboxing and you guys, you guys will let me know your thoughts. I'll definitely be doing a review on these, so be on the lookout on the channel for this, but as a whole, Check out how it looks and let me know in the comments below what you think. Okay guys, so here we have the iPhone 7 shooting at 1080p, 60 frames a second with its regular camera. As you can see, you can see the mouse, you can barely see what's going on over here. You can't see the camera outside of frame. And this is again, just with a regular lens. I'm gonna go ahead and attach the Olo Clip wide angle lens and you're gonna see the difference it's gonna make. So I'm gonna try to do it on camera without doing too much disruption here. And there it is with the Olo clip. Wow. So first thing you notice off the bat is look at this distortion, right? You can see how the desk is curving, but at the same time, you can see everything in my desk now. You can see the camera here to the side, my speakers. So with the regular lens of the iPhone, you can see past this point right here. And with the extreme wide angle, you could even see the printer way off on that side over here, which is pretty far off. So. Um, you definitely get that wide angle look and you get everything in frame, but that this distortion right here could be a deal breaker for me. Let me go ahead and show you what the telephoto looks like so you can kind of get an idea as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the wide angle. And there we are back to the regular iPhone lens, huge difference. But then again, that distortion is killer. Let's go ahead and see what the telephoto looks like now. And bam. So. You can see, again, the difference. The center of the frame is pretty crisp. It looks really good, actually. Uh, the corners, I mean, this is a lens that you're attaching over an iPhone, so you can't expect perfect performance. The corners are definitely a little soft, but it is what it is, right? You do get that cool telephoto look without losing any quality in the center. So as a whole, guys, I'm gonna be using this kit to try out a vlog. I'll probably post that in the next day or two. I'll be filming today. And you guys let me know your thoughts. So this is a look at the Oloclip Active Lens Set. Again, drop in the comments below. Do you think the distortion is killer? Do you think it's a deal breaker? Let me know below and we'll see you in my review, guys. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.